Doing the math, doing the math, Mathematica, yeah. Let's go. Me and Math really haven't been friends. We really haven't been friends. But can I tell you, that's not how this story ends. So how does this story end? Well, in order to answer that question, I have to take you on a journey that explains how I even got to the point of singing about my relationship with math in a song. This journey is gonna unearth the power of diversity and music in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, and it all starts with my love of airplanes. You see, I grew up fascinated with airplanes and flight. I still am to this day. And we'd go to the airport to pick up family members and I'd be excited to see them, but I'd always be watching planes take off and land. And then we'd get home and I'd rush to the dining room table as a child and begin to draw all these airplanes and show them to my parents. And as I grew older, that continued, but then I got to the point where I said, you know what, mom and pops, what career could you do to design airplanes for a living? And though they weren't a part of the STEM world, they figured out a way to say, Roy T, you would want to do aeronautical or aerospace engineering. And once I had that terminology, once I had that career path, I said, that's what I'm going to do. And I did not look back. So I was pretty self-determined and with the support of my parents, I persevered through the advanced math and science courses in high school and eventually earned my bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering with a minor in mathematics. And currently right now, I'm fulfilling that childhood dream of designing airplanes for a living. Now, you might be thinking, wow, that was a really quick journey how you got into the aerospace STEM industry. But what does that have to do with the power of diversity and music in STEM? Well, I happen to be half black, a quarter Puerto Rican, and a quarter Mexican. I know, it's the best of three worlds. Good food, good music, good cultura, ya tu sabes, good culture. And I say this to say that although I'm an engineer right now, the journey to becoming one really showed me the lack of diversity in STEM. Matter of fact, I was always one of the few black or Latino students in my engineering courses. And even in industry right now, that same experience still exists. According to the Pew Research Center, black professionals only make up 9% and Latino professionals only make up 7% of the US STEM workforce. Now, these percentages are considerably lower than the overall black and Latino percentages within the overall US workforce of 12.6% and 17.5% respectively. This is compared to white professionals that hold 69% of all the US STEM workforce and have an overall share of 77.6% of the overall US workforce. And Asian professionals, they make up only 13% of the US STEM workforce. However, that percentage is considerably higher than their overall percentage in the overall US workforce of 6.3%. I know, I know, that's a lot of statistics to be throwing out to you. You're probably like, what is going on? But the overwhelming truth in those numbers is that there's not enough black or Latino professionals in STEM. And this further underscores the need for diversity in this industry and really begins to reveal the power that it can bring. For one, having a diverse workforce brings together people with different backgrounds and experiences and begins to produce those creative, unique, and just overall better solutions to the problems within our industry. But that's kind of the typical way we think about diversity within the industry, right? However, if you dig a little deeper, I like to think about the advancements in technology happening right now. So many are occurring. And who's behind those advancements? For instance, let's take facial recognition. We have it on our phones, robots use it. Who's coding the software behind that? And how does it impact the black and Latino community when there are no or very few black and Latino professionals in STEM a part of that software development process. The final thing I want to highlight in regards to the power of diversity in STEM is something that we really don't think about that often, and that's economic wealth being produced in the black and Latino community because we have more black and Latinos that could be in STEM. According to the Pew Research Center, US STEM professionals, they make on average, 
up to $75,000 a year annually. And that's compared to non-STEM professionals making $55,000 a year on average annually. And these are just averages. And so when I think about that, I think about if black and Latino professionals were earning that type of a salary, those finances trickle down into the black and Latino communities creating that wealth. Now, I could just give you data on data on data, but you're actually looking at living proof right in front of your eyes. You see, I grew up from humble beginnings as a black and Latino kid, and by the grace of God, earned scholarships and took out some student loans and got to go to college and earn my engineering degree. But much like many diverse college students, I struggled through it financially. At one point, I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to come back to college for my sophomore semester because I didn't have the funds. But I made it through by the grace of God and got my engineering degree. And guess what? Two weeks later after graduating, I started working as a professional engineer, earning a salary with a number attached to it that I had never seen before. This, this was life changing. So when I think about the power of diversity in STEM, I'm thinking about how black and Latino communities could have this access to wealth. And what could they do with that? Well, maybe that's the capital they could use to start a new business or the money that could actually pay off student loans or the bonuses that you might get in the STEM industry and you can share with your family. But ultimately it's creating wealth for the next generation within the black and Latino community. And that's powerful. Now, clearly you can see I'm passionate about diversity in STEM and trying to create more of it. And so while I was in college, I participated in the National Society of Black Engineers very heavily and served in many roles to meet the mission, which is to increase the number of culturally responsible black engineers who excel academically, succeed professionally, and positively impact the community. Shout out to all my Nesby family out there would not have made it through college without Nesby. I also worked for SEEDS, the Science and Engineering Educational Development for Students, and had the opportunity to introduce STEM to Wichita Public School students through hands-on STEM activities. After I graduated college, I joined the nonprofit Real Men, Real Heroes as a volunteer, serving as a mentor, and I continued this introduction of STEM to underrepresented students. Now you might be saying, this is a lot of talk on diversity. When does the music come in? I'm glad you asked. While working in Real Men, Real Heroes and volunteering my time, I wanted to come up with a math activity for my future heroes, our mentees. And so I said, how can I make it creative? How can I make it engaging? How can I try to take the fear away from the math that, that usually comes into play in the communities I represent? And so I began to brainstorm. And during that brainstorming process, I was like, oh wow, I had a memory. And this memory was me being a sophomore in college in a class called Materials of Engineering. And we were talking about the deformation of materials, crack growth, crack propagation, and creep within a material. A lot of vocabulary words. And I'm like, how am I gonna remember all of this for the test that's coming up? So what did I do? I did what I know how to do best. I started jamming out to the R&B group TLC. Oh, wow, uh, oh, wow, uh, oh, wow. Uh. <laughs> what do I mean by that? I remixed their song, Creep, to have lyrics all about this test on material deformation. It went a little something like this. So I creep, yeah. Crack growth along the grain boundary, deforming material permanently. Oh, wow, uh, oh, wow, uh, oh, wow. Uh. <laughs> it's my jam, for real. And guess what? It worked. I got an A on that test, and an idea was born. You see, music is powerful. It's emotional. It's engaging. It helps us remember things, and it attaches us to life experiences. According to a research article titled, can Music Foster Learning by Janine Lehman and Tina Zoifert. They mentioned that students actually have a better overall understanding and higher levels of comprehension when learning about a topic through song. But we don't need a research article to tell us that. If I say to you right now, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and say, what comes next? You are most likely gonna say, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. We learned our ABCs through a song, y'all. And I can even remember as a kid learning the books of the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts of the Letters to the Romans. Music, it's so powerful. Even when I think about 
the top tier fast food companies that are coming after our pockets with their marketing jingles. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. Ba da ba ba ba, I'm loving it. That's the Big Mac sauce on that note right there. But, but for real, there is so much power in music. And so I said, that's what I'm gonna do. So with that math activity with my students, back in 2016, I took a song that was very popular at the time called Watch Me Whip and Watch Me Nene by Silento. And I changed the lyrics to Watch Me Saw This Equation. Hey, hey, watch me saw, saw this equation. And the students loved it. They were so excited about doing math. Young black and brown boys from third grade to fifth grade running up to the whiteboard to solve for X. The lyrics in the song that I remixed were all about solving algebraic equations, solving for X. And it blew my mind. I said, wow, look at how this is changing the narrative of math in the eyes of these students. So I said, I have to do something with this. I must. And so I did. However, it took a little bit of time, a couple of years, actually. I was battling with insecurities like, are you really the person to combine music and STEM? You really don't even love math like that. You really don't even love engineering like that. Yes, you work in the industry and you got a degree in it, but is that really for you? But through the encouragement of a good friend and a challenge to myself to just write one song about STEM, I took on that challenge and I began to see my purpose come into view. You see, I was at an intersection of my talents, gifts, and abilities. I'd been working in the industry at the time for over four years as an engineer. I got my degree in STEM, aerospace engineering, been working with kids for over 10 plus years, and I sang a little bit, wrote some songs, and was pretty good at performing music. So finally, in the beginning of 2019, I wrote and recorded a theme song titled, We Call It STEM Music. And y'all, I fell in love. I was so excited about this music and said, I gotta do something with this. So on November 1st of 2019, I officially launched the company STEM Music LLC with a mission to inspire the next generation of multicultural students multicultural professionals with engaging and entertaining music. Since our launch, we've had the opportunity to impact hundreds of students within the Wichita Public Schools through our partnerships with Arts Partners and the nonprofit Storytime Village. We've also had the chance to impact thousands of students across the country with some of the events we've participated in with the USA Science and Engineering Festival. It's so cool to see the power of music in STEM through these songs that I've written and performed all about different STEM topics. But I thought to myself, what if these black and Latino kids I'm trying to reach with this music actually want to do something in STEM? They need a roadmap. So then I created the STEM Music Podcast, where we highlight multicultural STEM professionals and the music they love. You see, I understood the power that a role model can have on you. As I stated earlier, I was very self-driven, but once I met Mr. Derek Morgan, the first black aerospace engineer that I had ever seen before, it changed everything. Up to that point, I believed that I could be an aerospace engineer. But after meeting Mr. Morgan, I knew that I could be an aerospace engineer. And so as you can see, there's so much power in diversity and in music, infusing it into the STEM world and changing it for something much better. With these two topics, lives in the black and Latino community can be transformed and an industry can be changed for the better. So how does this story end? Well, I'm pretty sure you know by now, but I can show you better than I can tell you. Let's go. Doing the math, doing the math. Said I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing them. Me and Matt really haven't been friends. We really haven't been friends. But can I tell you, that's not how this story ends, no. See, calculations are needed in this life, yeah. Like when I'm at the store, I need to pay the right price. So I count it up, one, two, three. I multiply just to see how everything needs to be. Yeah, 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 you can find me. I'm doing the math, hey, doing the math. Doing, I'm doing, I'm doing the math. Said I'm doing the math, doing the math. Doing, I'm doing, I'm doing the math. One plus one, doing the math. Time for fun, doing the math. Gotta 
gotta tell everyone I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing. Listen up. You can do the math, yeah, you got it. Anyone can learn to solve a problem. Work it forwards, work it backwards. Often check for the errors so that you can dodge them. And don't you worry, it doesn't have to be scary. In fact, it can be imaginary. Like the square root of negative one, I am doing, doing the math, doing the math. Doing hey. I'm doing, I'm doing oh yeah, I'm doing, doing the math, doing the math, doing, I'm doing, I'm doing the math. One plus one, yeah. That it's time for fun. Doing the math. Gotta tell everyone. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, doing the math. Yeah, 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 you can find me. Doing, I'm doing, I'm doing the math. Thank you.